Harry Kewell in Jota and Liel Abada influence as former player predicts top-level improvement in Celtic wingers. And Chris Sutton has been left impressed with Celtic's early work in the transfer window, believing they have shown up a critical error made by the Rangers last summer. Also, Joe Hart fires Celtic complacency warning as he reveals key motivating factor behind Parkhead resurgence. Harry Kewell can help take Jota and Liel Abida to another level. He can also ensure that Celtic go into the new season and the Champions League with all guns blazing. Those are the views of Dundee United defender Mark Connolly, who worked under the Hoops' new first-team coach when he was manager of Crawley Town. The champions headed out yesterday to begin their pre-season training camp, first in Austria then Czech Republic. Angie Postacoglu moved to add Kuehl to his backroom staff over the summer. Connolly knows it is a shrewd appointment that will give Celtics attacking play another dimension and especially their creative and wide players, like new signing £6.5 million signing Hotter, Abida and James Forrest. Former Benfica star Jota got 13 goals and 14 assists for the Hoops last season, while Israeli Abida netted 15 times and created 13 others. Connolly stated, he and Kuehl has played at the highest level. He has been one of the best wingers in the English Premier League of his era, been in a Champions League final, and is one of the best ever Australian footballers. I can see Harry really helping Celtics attacking players and I believe there will be a big improvement, even from last season, when they won the title. Hotter has just signed a four-year deal last week. For a player like that to work with Harry every day, you will see a different player. The Celtic manager has already made big changes and taken Celtic forward. The introduction of Harry will keep that going. I think you will see a difference in the likes of Hotter and Liel Abida and James Forrest. It might even just be subtle things, but they will help players who are already at the top level. He loved the 3-5-2 formation. A lot of the time our play was focused on our wingers. Maybe that is because Harry himself was so good as a player in that sort of area. Whenever Harry speaks to people he commands respect and he expects the highest of standards. His understanding of the game and his demands were just incredible. The boys have signed up Ben Segrist, Alexandra Bernabai, Cameron Carter-Vickers and Hotter over the last month or so. It's been a significant financial investment from the board into Angie Postecoglou's squad and more players are thought to be on the way before the end of August. For Sutton, Celtic are doing something that Rangers didn't last summer and now reaping the rewards. Writing in his column over the weekend, the former boys striker said, Celtic have made a £17 million statement. On the back of last season's title win, I felt it was imperative that the club built from a position of strength. Don't sit still. Don't rest on laurels. Full marks to them so far. They have blasted out of the transfer blocks with impressive investment. It's sometimes easy in the footballing world just to toss figures around. But to have outlaid that amount of cash by the first Saturday in July means the two key departments of Celtic are working excellently. The footballing department with Angie Postacoglu and his recruitment staff are really on point here. Identifying areas quickly and the hierarchy of the club are also doing their bit to support their boss. Taking his visions and funding them. Defiant Joe Hart has warned his Celtic teammates against complacency as they get set to go again this season. And the experienced stopper admits the clock ticking down on his career means he's more motivated than ever to keep the trophies flowing in. Hart was a key part of Angie Postacoglu's side last season as they charged to the Premiership crown and qualified for the Champions League. But Hart is all too aware that the competition is going to step up next season, with Rangers out to catch them domestically and a place waiting for them at European football's top table. The former Manchester City stopper, currently on his way to Austria for pre-season with his teammates, knows his side can't let their standards slip after a terrific campaign last term. And he's urged them to keep it going and enjoy an even better season next term. And on that note have a great day Celtic fans all around the world. 
lit. Roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party. Roll up to 